there is still this look you've extracted it out of all the possibilities in the world at that moment you've made this one frame and this is what it looks like and you've removed it from the context that it was born in and i don't know any other word to describe it other than magic and i don't care how many times i do pictures I, and i think i see what i'm going to get it's always different that may be the the secret addiction of making pictures when i was in school and, and growing up in whitefish montana in the 1960s uh there were no photography classes offered and in the small town that i lived in weren't other practicing photographers other than a portrait photographer and a wedding photographer and i ran across a book called the flame of recognition by edward weston and i just paged through it standing at the bookshelf and on a certain page there was this image called pepper number 30 and it was so beautiful and at that moment i knew that photography could be anything that any subject matter out there at all could be possible to make it into a photograph that evokes something such as the photograph that Edward Weston had done and i vowed when i got out of the army that whatever it is that i was going to do with my life it had to be something that i believed in and that truly motivated me and in that frame of mind i eventually wound up being a photographer most of my life has been made by having those opportunities to be someone else's vehicle to make pictures for other people that is a key part of who i am when i do photographs i don't think just of myself even when i'm photographing for myself i i don't think of it in those kind of selfish terms i'm very aware of reaching out either to the land or to a person and i want to take the the journey together because i i think in many ways we're looking for something to sustain us to nurture us that gives back something to you with with your your soul and content if it comes from the heart will answer all the questions about technique the process informs something altogether different I can't tell you how many times that I have been motivated by just having a different camera in my hand, a 6x9 format, a 8x10, a 4x5, a rangefinder 4x5, 35mm, all the weird funky formats that have existed in photography because it's part of the experience it's part of the aesthetic of holding that camera it feels differently that's what content is is being driven by something that you want to photograph and then finding the tool to do it with the most difficult thing to make in photography is a great picture that fits in the frame in one instant the minute you start thinking of multiple images that are going to be combined the more distorted it gets the act of releasing the shutter changes the mind is in in a visual beyond the moment but the view of the human I still believe it has a lot of intrinsic power. It's a contradiction in many ways. 
It's, this is no news. It's evident to anybody who gets involved in photography that it's part mechanics and part heart. And keeping them in balance is, for me anyway, the, one of the most difficult aspects of photography. And if you really care about the potential of photography, you need a certain faith that it makes a difference, even if it's just to you. You can say that photography is dead, but I'm alive. Uh, maybe the person who thinks that photography is dead, maybe they're the ones who are dead. I mean, dead to the inspiration that's available in all these classic works and that part of uh, the compelling power of photography was being part of it, being part of the history. So are you ready to make that commitment? And it's not the priesthood. <laughs> it's not some, uh, you know, mystical journey. This is uh, a journey of staying up as late as you can stay up because you're so engrossed in looking at the pictures you've done or making them or printing them or in the dark room. And to say less about it, to make it just trivial, is more disheartening than the truth. And are you willing, are you ready to immerse yourself in this and then see what happens, follow this path? Because anything aiming for something beyond what you can do at the moment is worthy of the effort, the ambition. And why should that ever go out of style?